Hey there, so today I'm gonna to show you how to make a copy of a Google Slide document so that you have your own master document to use with your students. This allows you to make additional copies if you maybe adjusted it and you wanted you want smaller portions. So I'm gonna use my no prep build a sentence activity. If you look here, there's four different versions. If you go to the color who who, what, where version, you're going to click on that. And usually when there's a resource that has a Google slide um, or a Google form, it will have a embedded link here, okay, wherever they put it in the resource. So here is where the link is. You're going to click it. So this resource is a no print resource that you can honestly pull up the PDF screen share it with your students and then use the annotation tool and have students write in their answers, right? So this is a PDF that you can also print out and put in a binder or have available, you know, on your laptop. But so this is, this is the resource as is. It's what, it's my best selling resource because it's really helpful for your students who are working on building longer sentences and you can also work on inferencing skills and answering WH questions. So in the event that you want to send this as a Google classroom assignment, you're going to click on that link. And here is all the um, activities. It tells you how to make a assignment for your students and how to make a copy for each student, okay? So let's say you want a certain um, activity. You're going to click on the link. It says it will show you make a copy. So it says click on any of the links that you want to assign to your students. You will be prompted to make a copy. And this means that I don't want you to have my master copy. When you make a copy, you will have your own master. And this allows you, like I said, to do whatever you need with this copy. So you're going to go up here. It's going to prompt you to say, make a copy. You're going to click it. And now this is in your Google Drive and we are going to change it up here so it says copy of write a sentence about the picture. We're going to change it to be master copy. That way you know this is your copy because when you're using this in teletherapy, all you're going to do is hit the screen share button, share the screen, and this will pop up. When you put it in present mode, you will be able to see the pictures like this, but you're not going to be able to write in the slide, okay? So you have to get out of present mode. And then there are text boxes here for you and the student to build a sentence. The boy is hitting the baseball during the game. Okay. Um, so that's already like that ready to go. So let's say that you have a student that wants to, that needs to work on building sentences and you want to send them this as an assignment. There's 10 pictures. So if let's say you wanted to only give them five at a time, you're going to go over here to file and you're going to make a copy. Now, if you select the five slides you want, you can click here, make a copy, and you can do the selected slides if you only want the five. And you're going to do, you know, who, what, where, write a sentence about the pictures, version one, I don't know. So that, and then once you click OK, it's going to make a copy of just those five slides. All right, so now you only have these five slides. You can then assign this with a link to the child in Google Classroom. That's going to be a different lesson, but you can do, you know, or you can share it with parents. If you have their email address, you can also share the link. So um, if you have, 
if you only want them to view it, you can, this would be the link. If you would like them to be able to edit, you can change that and copy the link and then email that to parents or put it in, in the Google Classroom as well, or in Seesaw, or not Seesaw, sorry, um, in like Class Dojo. So that's it for today. Today is about making a master copy. And let's say someone shares their, um, let's say someone shares like their form. Well, I don't think you can actually. Yes, you can. So let's say there's a form that a speech pathologist shared with you and you want your own master copy because you want to change a few things on the, the form. You're going to click make a copy. You're going to call it speech in home language, speech in home survey. Okay. That is going to be in your drive. And if you want it to be in a specific folder, you can go down here and pick a folder that you would like it to go in. Um, I don't know if I have a very good folder <laughs> for this, but we'll just put it under parent coaching because it's for parents. Okay. And we don't want that. We want it just to be the speech and language home survey. Okay, so now we have this form to get information about how the parent, what the parent has at home for language. Let's check and see if it's there. So we're going to go over here to parent coaching and we have the copy of copy, but this is the one that we made. See, speech and language at home survey. So let's say you make a form for your parents. You can then send it to them um, with their email and Inform, you know, information. You can also share this with others. So now this is your master copy and that way nobody can mess with it or you can mess with it and nobody will take the information you changed. So I hope this was helpful. Please let me know in the comments if you have any additional questions about Google Slides and I will show you. I hope you have a great day. Just remember everyone, stay inspired and remember you are the SLP that every kid wants to see. You got this 2020. You can do it. It's we're going to have hard times, but we're going we're in this together. All right, talk to you later.